Welcome back to action on table three. Interesting match here. John McAllister, Pro Series 1 champion, coming up against Hitton Patel. Pierce Sharon and James Haney joining you in the commentary booth. How's it going, buddy? Very good, thank you, sir. And you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Oh, oh John's just uh, getting white one of the, the holes. So. He's got a chance here. He's got a really yeah. presentable chance. Mm. What do you reckon? Bananas or tomatoes? Yeah, it's got to be bananas for yeah, me. I think so. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, just connect the dots, really, isn't it? Yeah, these are the chances that Hitton's going to have to take because the form that John McAllister's in, he's not going to get many of them. That's right, that's right. He's carried that form from the last weekend really well, hasn't he? Yeah, he definitely has. I think he was one of those players who were just waiting on the time where he was going to go all the way to a title. Yes. Yeah, I think you're right. It's, uh, you know, it's just one of those matter of time things. Yeah, former world champion. Mm hmm. Clearing a bit of a, a bit of debris there. And this is awkward now. It's all down on the cannon. Yeah, he's definitely made this a little bit more awkward than it needed to be. If you can can that yellow full ball. You should be able to play it to the left centre aspect. Really good. Don't want it dropping. It doesn't want it running on the rail. No. Mm. Anywhere short or long would have been great. Very disappointed with that visit. Hmm. He's hitting Patel. Yeah, so this is a, even though it's first frame when you tend to get a bit of a bit of a feel yourself into the match time. This is what Don really needs to punish. But it's really been to like to win this frame, having gone in off on the break. Yeah, absolutely. of Steady Eddie is John McAllister. Certainly is. Yeah. Just makes all the, the just falls with the simple things and makes the difficult things look simple. Yeah, it's a massive trait this game. Mm. Yeah, he goes at the right time, most definitely. His approach to every shot's the same. It's just so methodical in, t in the way that he kind of works things out, how he goes about his business. Yeah, right. So, so important to have a very strong routine. There you go. So will you look go twice across the table? So, yep. Point, he's just pointing the cue to get the inside red on the top right. If you can just shave the cue ball past the yellow, just above the yellow. Perfect. Yeah. I, I kind of was he trying to play a cannon? It, there's no way he could have overhead it by that right. much. Right. He's made it was, a yeah. little bit more complicated now. So this is a risky shot. Got away with it. Yeah, if this red passes the yellow. He's got, yeah, because that's very thin. Yeah, it is. Play it, though. Just make sure he goes across the table and leaves the... No, he's decided. Trust the arm. First glance, it looks like he has. What can hit and come up with here? Can he 
Masse around the yellow. Yeah, he's certainly looking at it. Mm. Oh, oh, lost the turn. Lost the turn. Good shot. Lost. Well, he's asked the question. Yeah, that's right. Just <laughs> forced on into the triple. Cut back double, do you think? I think it's probably going to be the cut back double. Mm. It's difficult to see how deep it is. It looks nearly on book, which is nearly out of book. So it's well, he is playing the travel. Yeah, he hasn't got it. Nope. A little bit of a scrappy start here, but it's hitting mm -hmm. Patel with golden opportunity mm -hmm. to take the first frame. Straight at the middle. Yeah, he's hit those really nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Got the one red there. Yeah, he's had a lovely connection. Mm. Really nice hit. Interesting. Yeah, not quite the camera angle that we. No. Pockets. Yep. You have to say another good opportunity here for the hitman. It is, but you, you think that there's pressure on because there's no safe red. I think just give them where the yellows are. Mm. I think at this level, you know, if you're looking for safe balls, just in case you make a mistake, yeah, probably not the right mindset to be no, to be at. Just thinking after that first frame of yeah, a bit tentative, wouldn't it? This is the yeah. type of finish then you look for to settle yourself. That's right, exactly. Open for the plant here. Yeah, nicely. Of course, it's the next plant as well. So yeah, we've got a good view of. Hitting Patel's grip hand there, I'm always intrigued because he, he always seems to barely hold the cue. It just kind of rests in his fingers. And That's right, yeah. But he gets a really nice hit on it. Tricky, the, uh, the yellow left centre. Yeah, I think personally I'd have been looking to get rid of it earlier. It, it wouldn't have been my preference to get onto the eight ball from. That's right. Unless he lands, yeah, I think he's, he's absolutely fine. Same has to be said for Luke Gilbert. He started at 23. He's up inside the top 10 as well. Now ranked seventh. Some movement there. Wow. Wow. Balls everywhere. Dry. <coughs> it's a cruel game. Mm. A few problems there as well, so.
Red's my favourite, but there's no clear starter. We've gone long pop, but... Mm. Yeah, it's the, the red and yellow, they're stuck together in the sort of bottom right corner, towards the bottom right corner. Oh, nice shot. that one more problem to solve for hitting Patel. Going after this one. Tricky. Oh, what a shot. I tell you what, this eight ball goes. Yeah. This is a good opportunity. Pretty sure it does. Well, it certainly goes to right middle. Yeah. In fact, that could be where he plays it because it does the yellow to the left of the eight ball will allow the position onto oh he's well he's just opened it up a little bit more it's nice nice looking odds on for three nil this is so Starting to really look comfortable and starting to flow here. Mm -hmm. Interesting, just looking at Hitton's ranking down in 40th, but I think that says more about the strength and depth of the talented here at Ultimate Pool. Oh, he's loose. Oh, he's going to be very disappointed with that. Yeah, he really put something extra into that one because he wanted to make sure he cleared that red, but yeah, he's uh, just let his hand get away from him there. Yeah, he's going to be very disappointed with that. Mm. Yeah, you can see a little tap on the table. Passes a yellow to left centre as well, so. further than he would have liked to be absolutely perfect but won't be an issue. Roll this in. Off cannon yellow. Exactly what was needed for right. John McAllister. A loose shot from hitting mm. Patel. Sure, yes. well, maybe a couple of mate. We're not going to go there. Another huge break, but another drive yeah, on. That's right. These are little technical difficulties with our replay. We're getting over. Webby looks stressed. Yeah, 
That's right. Webby always looks stressed. Yeah, that's right. All the Pro Series weekends. Yep. That's John Plotz's route. Yep. Take a wee look around what's going on through. Ronald McCarthy, Luke Sanchez, four frames to three to the Welshman. John Story, three frames to one up on Dom Cooney, that's over on the main table. Luke Gilbert, after going a frame behind, is one three on the bounce Ooh. against Phil Harrison. 3-1 right. mm -hmm. to Pro Series 2 champion, that's over on table two. Yeah. After this round of matches, we will see three more across our stream tables. Bedford Brian Halkrow in action in this table right after us. That's a clash. The old and the new, the young and the seasoned veteran. Chaos and chaos. Just chaos. Just chaos, all right. Brian Halkrow, of course, the fastest man in eight ball pool. He buzzed round. He's here all weekend, folks. Yep. For your derision. Yeah, another good chance for John McAllister. Spruce is good. Oh. Oh. He's yeah. got away with that. Is he's he on, on it. This? Yeah, he's on it. It must be tight. First. Yeah, he's not on a clean. Yeah, that's right. But he does have a shot. Mm. So be careful the enough here. This is a classic. Because if if he just gets enough pace on the yellow to get to the pocket, the white will be almost in the opposite corner. Yeah, and you can see he's mm. just caught it too thick. Reprieve for, for hitting Patel. Opportunity turned back over. Mm. That's well played. That is well played. Uh, Abel still goes middle back. Heavenly disappointed with that. Very, very. You see his look of dejection in the corner there. One thing you don't want to do with John McCaster is let him find his groove. He's, ri he's rhythmic whenever he, he get, gets going. So, yeah, he gets that bit you know, deep. I was going to say like rock wider, but the racehorse. Yeah, he was tremendous. Pro Series 1. We get a look at the John McAllister break. Hmm. Just go straight down the line here. This cue ball control is usually perfect. Excellent break. Is it dry? No, it's made right one. Middle. For reds. Mm -hmm. oh. 
forced up the rail. Forced on the rail at the rail now. Yeah, this is going to take a special bit of queuing. Mm -hmm. Is it there? Oh, it's just gone in. Great shot. So this is a key shot now. Key shot, give himself an angle on the lower red. So, yes, look. Really well taken pot there from John McAllister. So, that's nice. That's nice he's got an angle there. Developing. No, that, that is. So, what I mean about it, he makes the, makes the difficult shots look simple. That was so smooth. It's a majestic almost. Oh, yeah, I know. But you, if you had cue ball in hand, where would you put it? <laughs> Funny, I, I was actually thinking earlier in the frame before, I was like, there's no uh, surprise John has no nickname that I know of. I think Majestic McAllister is one that yeah, it's fits. Not, not bad. I'll have to copyright that one. Though. Get it at the back of a shirt. With a master. Yeah. Passes He's got the a slight angle as well. Got a slight angle just to stun it down towards the brake line. Keep the, the, the racket line. If you can get the, if you can just stun the cube ball across to the, sort of the, the black spot. How good's that? He's got nothing to do with the cube on the next the, the cube ball, the last red. To drop the eight ball into the, the middle. Yep, oh. Just as you said. <laughs> Pretty perfect, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's a nice little job. <laughs> Makes you look good. It takes a lot. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it takes a master. Majestic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's just going to want to kill the pace mm. of this cue ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Lovely. I mean, For three frames on the spin. Split's not, nice. not overly nice. Yellow started to the right centre. short position here mm -hmm. or he could be ultra aggressive this, this could open everything up this could literally work out perfectly and he's gonna be aggressive screw into the red yeah, that's good that is good yellow to the center push the yellow into ball and then it's gonna the dots the only issue he's got is the eight ball does it go into this yellow to left centre, run the cue ball through two or three inches and then play the yellow just immediately left of the eight ball. Because he'll, he'll nick the red away then. And then he'll have the yellow to the left centre and the yellow top corner. And the eight ball will be free. Yeah. Yeah, this is natural just to nick that away. Just roll it in. Don't have to do anything with the cue ball. Like that. Mm. He's always going to land plum on the left, left centre yellow now, as long as he's straight. Yeah, so he's straight now, so let's screw it down the line. 
Just, just gotta be careful. Mind his business, not overdo this. Got a life with a little bit of drag on it, but you don't want to overpower it and end up screwing down and, and killing himself behind the bread. Oi, yeah. Or coming across it. That's exactly what he's done. Mm. He's, he's massively, because if it, even if it had queued across mm. it the other way, he still mm. would have had a shot. Yeah. This is on. This is on, by the way. You calling it? <laughs> I'm not going to go two cushions. You go one cushion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I think this is on. Hold on to your hats. Oh. 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 <laughs> Put it safe. Yeah, if not. Majestic John. <laughs> the Maestro, I like that was another one. Oh, it is, yeah. The Master, sounds the Maestro, like Majestic. Trouble is, Maestro it sounds like a rust bucket Austin <laughs> Austin car from the, in the 80s. Montego? <laughs> Any better? Yeah. yeah, John can move this eight mm -hmm. ball if he wants. Yeah. I think he wants to. Yeah, lovely shot. That's better. Happy with that. We're just inside the halfway point of this match. Sort of not really rocketing along. We're five minutes of frame, mm. roughly. That up four minutes. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit slow. Yeah, I think the other the other two matches on it. They're six frames in now. On the seventh frames. Yeah. We we're about a frame behind the other two matches. Green. With those two matches locked up at three frames apiece. Yeah. But this one looks like John McAllister going to forge ahead. Simplicity. Just lets the cube do the work. Mesmerizing? Yes, yeah. <laughs> there from John McAllister. He brought that cue ball straight back up the table. Yeah, they double bumped it. Four, it? Bump, bump. Three? The red. Yeah, it was three bumps. Yeah. Ouch. Hey, Hitan. What have you got? He's had opportunities, has Hitan Patel. Yes, he just yes. hasn't taken them. Yeah. yeah he's... Uh, Definitely had his chances, yeah. I'll just listen to David Hoyne on the next table. Blowing smoke for a minute. <coughs> you do it different grave, you go off. Nice. Come take with Tom Cousins. frames a piece over on table two between Luke Gilbert and Phil Harrison. And the hitman's gonna want to respond here. Mac attack. Mac attack. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs>
four goals in the first half of Stamford Bridge. Yeah. Just needs to miss that that red in the middle of the table can play quite big if you if you don't join them. Maybe see him even go see him towards the side cushion. He wants that to run. He's good. He's good. Good. And a nerve settler. Mm. Right, stop the rock. Yeah, the hitman strikes back. Yep. And if that match clock runs out and it's all square. It is the dreaded six red shootout. He hasn't half caught them, but again, mm -hmm. they're dry. Yeah, he was tracking towards the corner bag and he's lucky to get bumped in. But look at these reds. I mean, one red to the centre, and then psh, he's away, isn't he? Unless I mean, you're going to play the top, you can play the red to the centre of the. Yeah, I think you have to. Get the yellow out of the way. Touch that yellow down towards the other yellow. Be complete control. Oh, he went clean. Interesting. I thought we'd have taken that. Yeah, I but think because it goes to both corner yeah. pockets. Yeah. So the ready's nearest to goes to the left centre as well, so could be okay. Just screw this into the yellow middle. side as his last. Little Ford's natural position for the eighth ball. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You have to force this in a stun across. Played red into the same pocket. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I, I think he's fine. I th mm. He probably would have wanted a shade more angle. Yeah. Careful, this doesn't spit out. He's gonna stun it across. I think he can run through, can he? He, yeah, he did stun it across. That's nice. Trap this with Chase the bottom right. Good about the green spot, would be lovely. Taken. Out white on the green spot. Lovely. Oh, that's a rarity. Got a bit of a twitch. As he, he stood off up off the... Yeah, he's head and hands there. Let's see this for impact. Yeah, his arm's moving across. You can see yeah. his arm's moving across as he hit that. That is so, so uncharacteristic. A huge opportunity yeah. here for hitting Patel. Yeah. I mean, John's got it, you can see it. Yeah. He must have been like 14 years old last time he did that. I remember seeing John, I think he was 12. Yeah. At a, I think it was the European Championships, and he was sensational then. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? Yeah, he's alright. Might have a future in the game. He's had a beard since his balls, was not he? <laughs> this isn't 
Done and dusted. It'd be interesting this yellow down the left side because earlier on, um, Callum Singleton had issues with dead weight shot down the left side that rolled away, and I don't know if it's been rectified. It's gonna run out there. To develop it. Yeah, it's gonna have to. Unless he plays a double? No, he should be playing. Right. So, totally missed the, the cannon. Now he's going to have to screw across. Yeah, but he's not the red safe. That's a pro cups around around north northeast Bristol. We're gonna have all the reds worn out <laughs> <laughs> and the yellows be pristine. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit different. That's the influence of Alton Pool, you see. Yeah, it certainly is. That might be the first act the official league of six reds. Yeah, I think I haven't heard of it from no? anywhere else. Yeah, it's just a bit different, you know. I mean they're trying to get away from Blackpool rules and they're looking to bring in international rules and they thought, well, let's uh, let's do the six red shootout and then People playing in that might be more interested in getting involved, watching, watching Ultimate, subscribing, and getting involved. Yeah, it'd be good things in the game. Yeah, just massive growth for the game under Ultimate Pool. We've talked about it most of the day, but huge announcement with Ultimate Pool USA, Louisiana Open coming yeah. not next weekend, but the following weekend, our inaugural event in yeah. the United States. Yeah, it's going to be phenomenal. We'll see a handful mm -hmm. of our own pro players, Chris Melling, Christophe Lambert, Jane Thompson, all making a trip across the pond. How did Shane Thompson get a visa? <laughs> the reprobate. <laughs> um, good lad, I used to take him to pool match on Wednesday night. Yeah, they will join, of course. We've seen big announcements. Billy Thorpe, Tyler Steyer, Jeffrey DeLuna, yes. Darren Appleton. forward to that and the main event 19th to 21st of april and the 18th of april across the social channels ultimate pool usa mm -hmm. there is a 16 player shootout which i'm really looking forward to mm -hmm. it will be ultimate pool as you know it just with a slightly different setup a different table different balls different equipment yeah I mean, the same rules same excitement what are your thoughts which I americans gonna win it <laughs> no, yeah i, I think Chris I think Chris has a good chance. Yeah. Yeah, Chris always got a good chance, but particularly in this with his familiarity of the uh, tables. Yeah, it's going to be on the seven foot box, too. It? it is, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. wow. That's going to be not a lot of room to play right now. No, there's not. So, you know, and I think uh, I think a lot of the top American players probably used to playing a little bit more nine ball. Mm. You know, so back to the roots of yeah. people forget, you know, nine ball is a big game, but the most widely played game in America is eight ball on, on a seven foot box table. Right, right. Another mistake from hitting Patel. Yeah. In this match, it seems like it's... I know there's plenty of time, but it seems like it's starting to slip away. It is, yeah. Well, we're only a minute 38 away from the 15 second shot clock. So, uh... Seems to be... Hit, John seems to be in more in control of his patterns in this. So Hitton's kind of rerouting a bit more. So that's only going to be a bad thing for Hitton when it comes to 15 seconds. Wow. It's kind of just had a yeah. throw of the arm at that. Yeah. A little bit fortunate with how the yellows have landed, but mm -hmm. he's handed full control over to John McAllister.
mask and see if it's Top frozen. Right. No. You're shaking the head there. They do a fantastic job, do our referees. Yeah. Best in the business. Mm -hmm. All the IRO officials. Wonder what you're saying then. So yes, uh, touch shot, pop this off. Seems like Liverpool scored again. Guess you're a Liverpool fan, running around the Coventry box like that. Yeah, double job in here. Oh yes, we're being avid supporters of all sports. Ooh. Oh, he's got good it. effort. Nice. Yep, top of the table. Mm. Great sportsmanship there. Yep. John McAllister. Certainly was. Don, you just came flying through the pub box. Let's jump a bit. Yeah, I think it's very tight. I'll give you an update of the score. Five frames to four to Sean Story. And Tom Cooney. Luke Gilbert and Phil Harrison locked five frames apiece. Six frames all now between Ronan McCarthy and Luke Sanchez. Yeah. Cider. Always, always going to have a minute for Ronan. Here we go. Another duck up. Yeah. Perfect. No need for John to be aggressive. No. Nope. See, he's a little bit slack there because. Ken can get see a bit of side cushion just below mid bag. And if he can play this with a lot of left hand side, if he clips just cushion first and drops the red in, then he'll be on the other red to the left corner. Yeah, it's careless. Oh, got lots of it. Oh, That's yeah. perfect. Oh, he's got That's it. What perfect. a shot. That is perfect. What a shot hitting Patel. Yeah. I think we're going to get a replay of that, unfortunately. Just as he's playing this next. Nice shot there from Hinton Patel. Mm. Julie dispatched. Oh. Great finish. Great finish from Hinton there. And as he's hit. Oh, no reward hitting. And I tell you, with that eight ball over the corner. What's these yellows like? Because I don't fancy mm. reds. No. Nor me. Don't fancy either there. But uh, can he jack the queue up? Yeah, he can. Oh, oh it's just oh. snuck in. Oh. No. This is the ideal opportunity for John to. Okay, I thought he was going to drop left centre and then get the breakout ball, but yeah. Gone long there. Now he's got the breakout ball. So we play the second one yellow from the left. To the corner. Oh, right, let's go. Stop between three then. We're playing the double. Be interesting to see what he's going to do with that yellow at the top of the yeah. table. Yeah, that's right. Tough. 
Oh. 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 That was just because just of how hard he had to hit it then. He had to really ping that to try and square it up, but why? Yeah, we'll get another look at that. Yeah. He had to hit it hard to square it up. And it's just caught that bottom jaw. Yeah. That was oh. Yeah, those beeps come really, really quickly. Last five minutes of the match as well. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to make things happen here. Yeah. Well, he's got the option. has given John an opportunity. I, I mean, he has, but it was a tough shot. And they think but uh, there was definitely a safety there. He could have developed one of those balls and, and, and lay the snooker, you know, and, and hope to get ball in hand or a better opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, John, you're playing dead weight across the table and that cloth. <coughs> you got to be careful. There's always going to be the chance of it curving down, which it has. level this match and we're probably going to see just under three and a half minutes mm -hmm. left on the match clock yeah. hitting Patel with an eight ball over the corner pocket yeah it's just gonna John's break Beautiful break. Ouch. But clusters. Mm. Yeah, those look good. Yeah, but there's work to be done. There is, but it's, it's <laughs> we could be going six reds here, can't we? <laughs> we could well be going six reds here. This is why. Nice. Nice. Needs to off that yellow. Yeah, this is. Um, yeah, it's the red and yellow on the right hand side as well. He's just not 100% comfortable with this. He's throwing That's another okay. red over there. That's okay. He's got him on it because this is difficult. He's got him on it to this match clock. Because if he leaves enough time for the counter clearance with hitting Patel, yeah. we saw a very similar scenario between Dave Fernandez and Stevie Dempsey. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're creeping under the two minute portion of this match. This is. Oh, here we go. Is he leaving the back double? He's got an angle to flick into the two reds. Yeah, it does. Mm. Match clock ticking away. No extension either for John McAllister. Oh, the he's going for it. Full blooded. Has he got it? He oh. hasn't. And hitting Patel with a minute and a half, 90 seconds for a counter clearance. But is he on anything? Yeah, he's red to yeah. centre. Yeah. I'll tell you what, they, these are very gettable. Hitting could pinch this. He certainly can. He's got oh, plenty quarter. of time. He doesn't need to rush. Right, yeah, he's got to take time. A minute and a quarter. That's good. That's good. Yep, little flick on the eight ball. Push the eight ball across and make it so much easier. That's it. He's just checking the time. Yeah. Just off screen. The players yeah. don't know exactly how much time's left. Push the eight ball. Push the eight ball. Push the eight ball. Just needs to make sure this pot. Perfect. He's there. Perfect. That push on the eight ball is perfect. That's giving him a lot of the easier shot on his last red. Hippen Patel's going to pinch this match. He is. Oh, 
Lots of that's, spin. Uh, that is that is a shot that's been very difficult to play on these dots. It certainly is, and you know yeah. what? That's eaten up a couple of seconds. Yes. Tracking that cue ball. Wow. To tell. He's going to leave John McAllister 10 seconds here. Really? Yeah, that's it hitting. <coughs> Got a he's won the match. Yeah, he's won the match. There we go. Yeah, the handshake. Wow. Yep. Wow. Again. From Got nowhere. Yeah. It has to be said, from that's nowhere. Right. That's right, John had that match. Well, what a conclusion we've yep. had to, to the match hitting Patel, marching on through. We have one round of games left.